Here's some garlic mustard. It's kind of a little bit beat up. It smells like horseradish. This is an invasive species, so if you see it and you feel inclined to pull it up, please do. Some garlic mustard. Some garlic mustard. You got some cleavers. Sassafras. It's got kind of a green stem. It smells very citrusy or lemon-like at the top, and more root beer-like at the bottom. And th these are what the tips look like. Sorry, it's dark. But we got some sassafras. There's some sassafras. You dig up the root and scrape it. it. Smells like root beer. Sassafras. Smells citrusy at the top. Smells like root beer down near the root. So here's some sassafras root. Here is a blackberry bush, and part of how you can tell it is by the color. But there's also this groove running down through here, which is a tip that I had learned from Mike Parker, who's very much missed. But blackberry bush. This is black raspberry, and you can tell that it's black raspberry because it's kind of got this red color. It's got these knobs. It's also got this white powdery substance on it, and it does not have that groove on it that the, the blackberry does. So here we have some black raspberry. It's purple and powdery and got thorns. Here we have some green briar. You can see the thorns on it. You can eat the tips off of this in the spring. Let me get down to where the tip is at. The tip on this one's missing. It's probably eaten by a deer or something like that. You can also dig up the roots and use them as starch. So we got some green briar. Okay, we got some gooseberry here. You can recognize it by its thorns. Let me get, there you go. So, some gooseberry. We got some rose hips here. They're past their prime, but these are rose hips. And yes, there are stickers on here. 
but rose hips. I'm sitting out here in the woods and I'm facing that way. The sun is over there and it's afternoon. So this way would be west because the sun's over there and it's afternoon. So this way would be east. <laughs> North <laughs> and south. <laughs> Widowmaker, do not hang your hammock under or near one of these. Okay, here we have some crack cap on a black locust. There's one higher up too. There's one higher up there too. I would snag them, but that's probably a good, what, 25 feet? And I can't get up there. Okay, here's the down tree. This is a good place to look for chert or quartz. If it breaks easily, it's probably limestone. Um, this here is the depression. This is a good place to look for water. This one looks like it might have a critter living in it. But yeah, low spots are a good place to look for water. Okay, this is poison hemlock. As you can see it doesn't have hairs. It doesn't have any purple blotches or anything on it right now. When it gets older, it'll have purple blotches on it. Um, this is a really dangerous plant. It has a bitter smell. Do not taste it. It, it is really poisonous. Um, invasive species. Yeah, this is a poison hemlock. Right there. <laughs> 